What's up? Music with Monolly. I am Monolly. Welcome back to my channel. And um, today's, uh, well, first before I get into that, if you have not subscribed, please do like, comment, etc. Today's request is coming from Patreon, and um, I am always going to pronounce her name wrong, and she needs to tell me because we talk a lot on Patreon. <laughs> I think it's, is it Ike? It's E-I-K-E, -E, which is a really cool name. Anyway, so this is another Chelsea Wolf, and we had some issues with the first Chelsea Wolf. I had like the wrong video and it was weird and she was like, no, don't do that one. So I deleted that. We did a different one and um, I actually, I liked her voice. It was very weird and like unique and haunting and all of this. So we're gonna see what I think about this one. So this one is called um, Appalachia. The video right now says Radar and I don't know if, um, I have the wrong song title down or if it's just like what they put on the video i don't know but here we go am i gonna like this chelsea wolf without a doubt okay all right eight ball here we go <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna maintain that um, her voice is very haunting. She sounds kind of like a mix between like Mazzy Star and like the Sundays. I might have said that in her other video as well, but that's what it reminds me of. It's that 90s um, sound to me that um, it was that kind of indie, when that, that's, uh, what would you call that genre even? That, ki that sound mixed with a little bit of rock, mixed with a little bit of pop. I don't know. Anyway, so her voice is very haunting and I like it. And I, I think it's amazing that she can hit those high notes. Um, and 
with such purity. She doesn't slide up to them like a lot of artists do or uh, have to land on top of it. She literally just can hit it, and that's really cool. She has a good voice. Um, my only issue, and I just don't like that. You're going to hear my daughter's playing with my husband. <laughs> Is that um, I can't understand what she's saying. Like, the pronunciation is, is um, I don't know if it's the pronunciation or what, but, like, what she was saying, I guess she was saying, is it worth, I think was one of the last lines, is it worth, and it was, like, easy to word, I don't know, it was just, like, weird to where I can't understand it, and that really annoys me when people don't pronunciate their words, um, and I have that issue with some of Grace Vanderwall as well, as well as some other people I've heard, um, it's just, I don't know if it's because I was in chorus and in choirs um, from my younger, like very young, eight years old up to adulthood. And so we were taught to pronunciate and then being an English major, like, I don't know if it's like something engraved in me that you just need to pronunciate your words. And, um, and I know people are going to throw examples at me of people you can't understand, like Eddie Vedder. And I guess with Eddie Vedder, it some it just works. I don't know, like the druggy rock star. I don't know what what it is, or maybe with him, it just doesn't bother me. Because um, if you listen to like Yellow Lead Better, like nobody knows what the crap he's saying. Like, it, yeah. Anyway, so with this, I I felt like if it's just her and her guitar, I should be able to understand what she's saying. And I couldn't. I have no idea what that song was about. So that bothered me. But because her voice with the guitar and everything was just so haunting and so pure and I really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it an eight. And, um, I do want to hear more from her. I, I like her voice. I like the haunting quality of her voice. So thanks for that request. That was really cool. And, um, so the eight ball was not far off, but it was very secure or very uh, confident in that I was going to like it. <laughs> anyway, another video coming at you here in a second. So, um, yeah, thanks. Music with Modeling. Cheers.